Hello, today I am going to talk about the 32 and the 64 bit comparison. So let's see which one is better, the 32 or the 64 bit computers. Okay. Now coming to the 32 vs 64 bit comparison. The number of bits present in a 32 bit operating system are 32, whereas in a 64 is 64. Architecture the 32-bit architecture is based on registers 4 octets wide, whereas the 64-bit is based on registers, addresses or data buses 8 octets wide. That's good. Compatibility 32-bit operating systems and applications require 32-bit CPUs, whereas the 64-bit ones require 64-bit CPUs. Systems available in 32-bit almost all of the operating systems are available in the 32-bit versions whereas the 64-bit has uh, those are also supported okay memory limits 32-bit systems are limited to 4 GB of RAM then in Windows it utilizes only 3.2 GB whereas in 64-bit it allows up to 17 billion GB of RAM which is huge amount whereas um yeah that's it in 32-bit there are fewer issues, more wide compatibility, whereas the 64-bit has more RAM access, more efficiency, more virtual memory allocation, more security features. But the constraints of the 32-bit are the same as the advantages of 64-bit. And the constraints of 64-bit are Possible driver compatibility, some motherboard RAM limits. In case your motherboard does not support a lot of RAM, you may actually need to use less RAM. And legacy issues. Now, let's talk about the architecture and software. 32 bit and 64 bit are terms referencing on how a processor embedded in the computer handles data. A 32 bit architecture allows the arithmetic and logic unit, that's the ALU, to perform 32 bit integer arithmetic and logical operations. For architecture with 64 bits, it allows a 64 bit version of Windows to handle large amounts of RAM better than a 32 bit system. Also, 64 bit system has a 64 bit address register with data registers and the data bus typically equivalent in size as the address registers. So, the 64 bit ALU architectures have matching registers and addresses or data buses in like values. Compatibility 32-bit A 32-bit processor cannot run an operating system designed for 64-bit CPUs, nor does it support 64-bit applications. 32-bit CPUs can only run a 32-bit OS and applications designed for 32-bit operating systems. Whereas 64-bit systems are generally backward compatible and support both 32 and 64-bit operating systems and applications. The OS for the 32-bit is only 32-bit, applications are only 32-bit, 64-bit applications are not compatible. In 64-bit, you can run both 32-bit and 64-bit oper operating systems and applications. Memory 32-bit systems have a limitation on how much memory they can address. This limit is 4 GB. While memory usually refers to RAM, this limit also includes memory in other devices in the system like video, audio and network adapters. The combined limit for RAM, GPU, PCI memory range and a few other components is 4 GB. The practical implication of this are that 32-bit windows, for example, cannot take full advantage of 4GB RAM. Installing more RAM is always an option, but 32-bit systems would simply not be able to use any RAM over this limit. A 64-bit version can address up to 8TB, with current systems unable to take full advantage of capacity. Systems are now available with installed RAM far exceeding the 4GB limits of 32-bit systems. Choosing an operating system for virtual private servers When using a VPS like Linode or DigitalOcean, system administrators are often constrained by how much RAM is available. 
so they often recommend using a 32 bit Linux distribution to be used on a VPS rather than a 64 bit operating system. Advantages of the 64 bit operating system Ability to use more RAM. 64 bit processors are theoretically capable of referencing 2 to the power of 64 locations in memory or over 4 billion times the memory number 32 bit processors can reference. Constraints of the 64 bit operating systems Possible driver compatibility While there is increasing support for the 64 bit operating systems, for those still embracing older solid and often still functional hardware, a transfer will be in order and sooner than later. It is unlikely that the 64 bit drivers will be available for older systems and hardware. These are decisions made case by case. More efficiency When additional RAM is installed, 32 bit systems usually cannot take advantage of it because of the addressable space limits. But 64 bit systems, which can often result in significant performance boost. More virtual memory allocation 64 bit architecture windows can theoretically offer 8 TB of virtual memory to an application. 32 bit architecture windows is limited to 2 GB. The modern applications, especially for video and photo editing games, desire more RAM. With the 64 bit efficient use and allocation of memory, those applications optimized for the 64-bit OS can take full advantage of the new space. Whereas, some motherboard RAM limits, a rare occurrence is a finding. A motherboard supports early 64-bit processors but does not offer more than 4 GB of RAM. More security features, 64-bit processor offers additional security protection including but not limited to hardware, DB, kernel fax production and improved device travels. Legacy issues, software will likely not make a transition to 64-bit processing. Old applications including 16-bit applications will require virtualization, otherwise it might be a time for an upgrade. Thank you. Do like and subscribe.